Hello, my students who are currently studying the third year at our Secundaria Once Ricardo uh, Flores Macon. Um, I want to welcome you to this school year. I'm so happy to see you again. And well, I'm gonna, this is the first class. So I'm going to start our, this class by explaining some important information in Spanish. And then we're going to switch and we're going to start studying English, ¿ok? Muy bien, chicos, pues bienvenidos para este ciclo escolar 2021-2022. El día de hoy es nuestra primera sesión y decidí grabarla para explicarles bien qué es lo que vamos a hacer esta semana y darles la información en español eh, sobre eh, los detalles de cómo vamos a llevar a cabo este curso de inglés 3 y posteriormente ya pasaremos a lo que es la parte en inglés, ¿sale? Muy bien, eh, pues bueno, para mí es de verdad una grata sorpresa ver a todos mis alumnos y a los padres de familia, de verdad que estoy muy emocionada de comenzar este ciclo escolar con todas las ganas y todo el ánimo. Muy bien, eh, vamos a empezar. ¿Cómo vamos a evaluar este trimestre? Bueno, recordemos, son tres trimestres. Eh, y bueno, lo vamos a evaluar de la siguiente manera. Actividades continuas eh, va a equivaler a un 70%, los proyectos un 20%, y los quizzes en Google Forms serán un 10%. De esa manera eh, vamos a evaluar a todos los chicos y chicas de este curso. El contacto, bueno, aquí está el código de clase. Es d o z z q, -Q 7 Mi correo electrónico, por si tienen alguna duda, duda o si quieren hacer alguna observación, pregunta, lo que sea, es diana.perez.beg.mor.nuevaescuela. Punto .mx. Tenemos un canal de YouTube que es este en el que estamos y tenemos nuestra página web también que es exclusivamente para los chicos que están estudiando el tercer grado de secundaria. Si no hay duda alguna sobre las indicaciones, eh, recuerden que todos estos documentos están detallados en nuestra página, en nuestra, perdón, plataforma de Google Classroom. Eh, vamos a encontrar varias secciones, eh, son 10 unidades en total. Y está el periodo diagnóstico, que es el de hasta abajo. Entonces, ahí van a poder ustedes encontrar eh, todos los materiales que vamos a estar ocupando en nuestra clase. E información de la hoja del primer día. También podemos encontrar nuestra página web y diferentes eh, materiales que nos van a estar eh, sirviendo como herramientas para realizar nuestras actividades. Okay, so if you don't have any questions, we're going to start with the first activity of this school year. And you're going to find it in 20 questions about me in Google Classroom. And we're going to open this um, task. Let's see what we have to do. It is, it says, eh, actividad para realizar en clase. Puedes imprimir tu hoja previamente para solo llenarla. En caso contrario, también podemos anotarla en el cuaderno. Si ustedes desean, pueden llevar su hojita previamente impresa, que es esta. Eh, esa es una opción. Pero si no tenemos la oportunidad, no se preocupen porque yo en clase, en presencial, yo les voy a llevar los, las hojas eh, plastificadas y ustedes deberán de anotar las respuestas en su cuaderno. Pero no, las dos opciones son correctas, ¿sale? So, what do we have to do? It says read each question carefully and answer in English. And when you finish, upload your evidence, okay? So, uh, let's see what we have to do. Uh, you're going to be given a handout where um, we have this uh, title, 20 questions to ask your children. Over here in this space, you're going to write your name. For example, Diana Carolina Perez Benja, and then your age, how old are you? I'm 16, I'm 17, I'm 13, I'm uh, 15. You have to write your age, okay? So don't forget, you have to write your name and your age. And we have 20 questions. Let's read what uh, they say. Number one says, what is your favorite color? What is your favorite color? You can write green, blue, yellow. It depends on your choice. Okay, so you're going to write your favorite color. Number two, who is your best friend? So you're going to write um, your best friend's name. Mm -hmm. uh, Marisol, Lupita, Jorge, Mario. Who is your best friend? ¿Quién es tu mejor amigo? In question number three, uh, we have to answer... What is your favorite TV program? What's your favorite TV show? 
-hmm. in YouTube or in any channel you want. You have to write uh, the name of your favorite TV program. In question number four, it says, what do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be an engineer. I want to be a biologist. I want to be a scientist. I want to be a carpenter. I want to be a developer. I want to be a teacher. So it depends on you. What do you want to be when you grow up? In Spanish, ¿qué quieres ser cuando crezcas? Question number five says, what car do you want to have when you grow up? Okay, so in some future, if you had a chance to buy a car, what car would you like to have? Or you can also say, I don't want any cars. I don't need any, any cars because I'm pro-environment. So I believe it's better not to have a car. So you can also say that. But if you do, you can write what car you want to have in the future. Number six, if you could go anywhere in the world on holiday, where would you go? Si pudieras ir a cualquier lugar en el mundo en vacaciones, on holiday, holiday, remember this is British English, where would you go? Uh, for example, I would go to Acapulco, I would go to Cancun, I would go to the United Kingdom, the UK, uh, to the USA, to Africa, I don't know. Question number seven, do you want to get married one day? Do you, yes, uh -huh. do you want to have a husband or a wife or no? You can write, yes, I do or no, thanks, <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> I don't need any husband or wife. Number eight, how many children would you like? If you want to have children, you can write one, two, three, four, as many as you want. Or you can also say, no, thank you, but I don't want any children. That's also an option. It depends on you. Number nine, what age are you when you become an adult? Uh, for example, I believe you have to be 21 years old uh, in order to be considered an adult. ¿Qué edad crees tú que debes tener cuando te conviertes en un adulto? You can write uh, 18, 19, 20, 21, and... It depends on your on uh, on what you believe. Number ten. What are you good at? En qué eres bueno? For example, I'm good at chess. I'm good at swimming. I'm good at uh, mathematics. I'm good at arts. I'm good at painting. I'm good at playing soccer. I'm good at um, I don't know. You write your talents in number ten. Let's go to number eleven. If you had a superpower, a superpower, what will it be? In my case, I would like to teleport. In español sería como teletransportarse. I would like to teleport. Um, number 12, if you had one wish, what would it be? Uh, I wish I could sing better. I wish I... You complement it with anything you want. Uh, what do I do as a job? Huh? Um, ¿Qué hago? ¿Cuál es mi trabajo? Uh -huh. For example, you are a student, but you can you can say my my job is to study hard. My job is to be a good uh, son or daughter. I don't know. Number 14. What are you scared of? Uh -huh. Scared. ¿A qué le tienes miedo? What are you scared of? Example, Ron Weasley uh, is scared of spiders. Remember Ron, Ron Weasley from Harry Potter? He's scared of spiders. What are you scared of? I'm scared of uh, exams, tests. I'm scared of, um, I don't know, anything you want. Number 15, what is your favorite song? You have to write, what is your favorite song? Number 16, what, what, is, your, what is your favorite class at school? Arts, sports, science, maths. Uh, Spanish, English, any, any, any subject. And uh, number 17, what is something I always say to you? Mm -hmm. What is something that Miss Diana always says uh, to you? Uh -huh. uh, I don't know. You can write, ¿Qué, ¿qué es algo que siempre te digo? Mm -hmm. Or vice versa, what is something that you always say to me? Uh -huh. ¿Qué es algo que ustedes siempre le digan a las demás personas? Number 18, what's the hardest thing you've ever had to do? ¿Cuál es la cosa más difícil que has tenido que hacer? Okay, what's the hardest thing you've ever had to do? Number 19, what makes you happy? 
Mm, for example, spending time with my family makes me happy. Or studying English makes me happy. What makes you happy? ¿Qué te hace feliz? You have to write the answer. And finally, number 20, what makes you sad? It's the opposite. What makes you sad? For example, um, listening to uh, some type of music, Adele's songs make me sad. So what makes you sad? And that is the uh, task number one. This is something that we have to do in the first, in the second day of our English class. And then there's some homework because I would like you to record your voice answering these questions. For example, um, you can say, uh, good morning, my name is, mm -hmm. and my favorite color is blue, my best friend is this person, my favorite TV program is. So you have to record yourselves mm, describing and mentioning the answers of these 20 questions, okay? And the recording shouldn't be so long, probably one or two minutes is more than enough, okay? So that it, those are the first two tasks we have to do in the first and the second day. And in the last day of our class, what we have to do is we're going to start reviewing some vocabulary we have previously studied in the last, during the last school year, which is this one. We have to design a lab book in our notebooks and describe the meanings of the words. Which words? These ones. Pollutants, incinerator, environment, recycle, landfill, reduce, reuse, garbage, cleanup, and waste. How can we do this? Over here, I have um, um, uploaded some examples of templates that you could use if you want. So, for example, this is an, an, something I did. I wrote the words, and then what you will have to do is to add a picture to describe the meaning. Example, pollutants, contaminantes. Aquí tendríamos que agregar un dibujito que nos explique, nos represente eh, el significado de pollutants, que son contaminantes. Y así sucesivamente. I hope you find these tasks easy. Remember, we have to upload our evidence, evidences to this part. Vocabulary one review, this uh, over here, you should upload it. And the recording and the um, handout uh, should be uploaded here uh, where it says 20 questions about me. This is where you have to upload your evidences. And those are the three tasks we have to do this week, okay? I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.